In a stunning policy reversal, Attorney General Eric Holder today conceded that confessed 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed will be tried in a military tribunal. I believe that they can deliver fair trials and just verdicts. Just 17 months ago, Holder pledged to prosecute KSM and four al-Qaeda co-defendants in a civilian court just blocks from New York's ground zero. But Congress, bowing to public pressure, barred transfers of Guantanamo Bay prisoners to the U.S. Holder did not hide his frustration. I know this case in a way that members of Congress do not. I have looked at the files. I have spoken to the prosecutors. So do I know better than them? Yes. And military commissions. The festering flap over where to try Mohammed has angered families of 9-11 victims. Geraldine Davey has been seeking justice for her daughter for nearly a decade. I owe this to Amy. I need justice for my 23-year-old who was slaughtered that day. And um, we, uh, we, we cannot forget them. KSM, the highest profile al-Qaeda detainee at Gitmo, has admitted planning dozens of plots. And he is one of three alleged terrorists to be waterboarded by CIA interrogators. Justice Department memos reveal Mohammed was waterboarded 183 times in the month after his capture in March 2003. In a Gitmo military court three years ago, KSM denounced his treatment as torture, telling the military judge he wanted the death penalty. That is what I wish, Mohammed said. I wish to be martyred for a long time. It's not clear if military prosecutors will pursue the death penalty. Now, Civil Liberties backers blasted the policy reversal and pointed out that Holder's decision now ensures that Gitmo will stay open for the foreseeable future. It's been two years and counting since the president promised to close it. Katie? Bob Orr, Bob, thanks very much.